Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker, and uh, you know and this is just crazy. I mean, just look at this. Um, Anna Lee wanted me to take a look at this picture, and uh, I did something in this soul, and I think this was the next picture. And uh, I want to thank her for uh, taking the time. You know, to shoot me over an email. I know it takes time out of people's lives to do these things. And I don't take any of it for granted. I mean, I try to read all the emails and respond. And I mean, just look at this stuff. I mean, you could see the blocking. I mean, how much more evident the, you know, blurring. I mean, it's just. It's not a problem with the camera. I mean, just look at this. And then you go to the next soul, and these these blur boxes will be in all different places. Look at this, how it looks like it's some type of brass. See the color of that? A metallic item. And the piece right next to it. I mean, I it, these pictures are just loaded. I mean, I just, I don't know how they... Uh, even come close to covering this stuff up. Why they even show us these pictures to begin with, but and just you know, you could see. I mean, this these things are manipulated for a reason, and you could see the structure in this stuff. And look at this; they blurred the top of it. I mean, look at that thing. Here's a pretty cool example. I mean, look at this. See how they put that little black smudge? You can see it's a carved face. There's the two eyes, something on its head. Look what's next to it. Yeah. Like I say, a lot of these are just grave markers. That's what I feel. The ground. See how they just mix all this stuff up? I mean, that doesn't resemble any type of ground that I've ever seen in my life. All they're doing is blurring and just moving pixels around. And, and you know, we're supposed to buy this. You know, I mean, they know that most people in this world are clueless to uh, the space program. Most people could care less. Yeah. And I don't, I just don't understand why. I mean, it's a big part of our history that's being withheld from us. I mean, the whole world should be outraged. I mean, look how they blurred this part, right? And then you could see what's left here. I mean, look at how crazy this thing looks. The piece that's left, look at how crazy it looks. Looks like some just type of weird statue carved. I mean, these pictures are so loaded. You don't even know where to, uh, where to be in. Where to begin, where to end. I mean, there's statues, machinery, metallic objects. When you can get a grouping of a couple of these pixels together, then you get a glimpse of something, you know. But a lot of them are just strewn about. Look at this. Like, look 
at this. Look at this mess. I mean, they want, they're trying to make this look like rocks. And from a distance, eh, you know, I don't buy it, but from a distance, if you don't know any better, you're going to buy it. Hook, line, and sink. But most Americans are, you know, like I said, just busy, you know, life in general. You know, sometimes you don't even have time to, uh, you know, take just a little time for yourself, let alone sit down and, you know, look at NASA pictures and, you know, analyze them and write emails and, you know, most people just don't have that kind of time. That's why I believe these videos are so popular. You know, people could take that uh, 25, 30 minutes, you know, watch a couple videos, you know, and they're informed, you know. But, I mean, how can that be rocks? What it is, I have no clue, but how could that even resemble? How can NASA even think of showing us that? I mean, really, it's almost like they're, you know, making fun of us. Like, you know, here you dumb Americans. Or, I mean, the whole world in general. I mean, look at this stuff. I mean, it looks like some type of carved animal head. So this looks like branches coming out. And this thing looks like two, I don't know, two big eyeballs or something. I don't know what the hell I'm even thinking of. Look at the colors in this thing. Why would you have to manipulate this like this? There's only one reason. And I'm gonna have to call this. I'm gonna call this one freaky, uh, freaky statues, and freaky carvings. I mean, I don't even know what to, uh, what to make of some of it. I mean, it's just crazy, you know. But then again, I mean, you know, 
these this is a whole nother civilization. So I mean you know, they might not have no YouTube or jobs or economy. They sit around carving all day. Or, you know, this is just one little little area. There's bustling cities and towns and you know. This could be an ancient ancient city for them, you know. Like Egypt is to us, you know. Pumo Punka, you know, stuff like that. I mean it, that's what this could be on Mars. I mean, we just didn't happen to land anywhere. And we just didn't happen to spend all that money to go to Mars. And continue to spend all that money. I mean, I believe there's rovers up there that we don't even know about. I believe there's spacecraft. I will even go so far to say is, you know, we've been up there with other countries. See how they uh, morphed this? I mean, look at that blocking. And it's funny, the stuff they morph or block, see how it looks like just pieces of slate? You know, a lot of them look thin. Who knows, there's all types of paintings and stuff on this. Look at that thing. I mean, this is one of those pictures and videos that you're going to have to use the pause button. I'll give you a good view of it, and then you just use the pause button and really enjoy it. I love when I hear that families look at these videos together, and their kids and stuff pick out all crazy stuff. And Look at this stuff carved. Look at this. Look at this head. Look at this, I mean, what?
It's pretty wicked. I don't see why you'd have to cover that up. NASA. I'd cover it up though. I would cover that up most definitely. That's one ugly bastard. Almost looks like he got a goddamn pitchfork in his hand. Good job on that one. I would I would cover that up too. It's a freaky place up there. Wonder if they have ice cream. What kind of cool flavors, you know? Sometimes I think crazy stuff like that, you know? Like, what do their toilets look like? You know, their stores. You know, like we got Honda, Toyota, Nissan, you know, dealerships and showrooms. Like, do they have UFO showrooms? You know, like, <laughs> what are the brands? You know, like anti-gravity cars and cycles and stuff. And I mean, because we're only seeing a small part. Like I said, there could be bustling towns and cities. And, you know, you take a little part of Egypt and drop a rover down there and start exploring. I mean, you'd have no clue. The Mojave Desert. You know, you really wouldn't, I mean, you would have no clue that there's a New York City if you were from another planet. You gotta look at it like that sometimes, you know. I mean, if there was, you know, like a Paris on Mars, they're not gonna drop a, I mean, the rover that's up there now is the size of a car. They're gonna drop that down in the middle of, you know. I mean, of course, you know, NASA and Know where they were dropping this thing. Alright, guys. I think that's about it. You know, like I said, use the pause button on this one. Enjoy it. Find, you know, find all those crazy anomalies. You know, like Mars Anomalies does, and Mars on Mass, like the viewer participation videos. You know, hey, knock yourself out, because this is a good one. Again, I want to thank Ann and Lee, you know, for sending this over. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I, I'm just totally amazed. Almost 1,500 subscribers, almost 630,000 views in about four months. You know, I mean, in a year. I, I just, I'm like I said, I'm overwhelmed. It's just amazing to me, amazing. What you guys do for me is amazing. You know, and uh, a lot of help from these guys too. Will, you know, Mars Anomalies, Mars Unmasked. You gotta, you know, if you don't know about these guys, which I'm sure you do. You know, this guy's got 10,000 subscribers. I mean, this is the godfather there. It's, yeah, you got Olympus Sky. Amazing work. This guy puts up some pretty good news stories, you know. Everything he puts up might not be for you, but the man tries to get the truth out there, you know. You got BP Goonies, if you love your fireworks. You know, you know about Goonies. Third phase of the moon, another... Another, you know, channel puts out a lot of stuff, you know. You may not believe in it all, but they're putting it out there for you to judge. And uh, this great person, Amazon KC, amazing work. Amazing. So you gotta, you know, when you get some time, you gotta check those channels out. Really important for our cause that everybody works together. Alright, guys. Truth Seekers out.